for another exciting adventure in outer space with Scott McCloud, Space Angel. In the story of The Donovan Plan. beautiful little ship. But why all the secrecy on this project? This is the Space Angel's new ship. Wow, no wonder. Hey, do you suppose he'll come in and inspect it? I'd sure like to see him. We probably wouldn't know if he did, since no one knows who the Space Angel is. He could even be one of our workmen. Hey, who are the VIPs? That's Scott McCloud and his flight engineer. They're Space Force. Just a big megatomic engine with two seats on it. Those engine tests are fantastic. Ten million pounds of thrust. I can't wait to try them out, Skipper. Yes, Taurus. Dark Two will have more thrust per pound of weight than any ship in the universe. And it won't be long now. Let's go over and see the Chief about testing this baby. Will that be all, sir? Yes, Carter. Just see that we're not disturbed. Yes, sir. I'll be in microfilm if you need me. Now, let's get down to business. How does the dark check out, Scott? She's ready to go, Chief. The new engine looks great. And we'd like permission to test her right away. That's what I want to talk to you about. This flight test would be a perfect cover-up for a top-secret project. What do you mean, Chief? I mean the light ray, or death ray, better known as Project Flashlight. I didn't know Professor Mace was even close to the testing stage on Project Flashlight. The conversion crystal gave us the breakthrough. The ray is ready for testing now. I don't have to tell you the importance of secrecy on this project. Used as a weapon, the light ray could be the most destructive force in the galaxy. Misused, such a device could jeopardize the whole space organization. That's right. So we must proceed with utmost secrecy. People talk too much around here. Information has been leaking out, so we will conduct the test from the evening star. The light ray can be installed on the dark there. You will conduct your flight tests in Sector 7 near the asteroid belt and test the ray on asteroids. Yes, sir. We'll blast off within the hour. Duster from launch control. You are clear for blast off. Roger, control. All set, Taurus. All go here, Skipper. Blasting off. and didn't hear you. What can I do for you, sir? As soon as you're finished, I've got some reports for you to file. Yes, sir. I'll be up in a few minutes, sir. It's a message from Carter. <laughs> this is the information I've been waiting for. So they've perfected the death ray, eh? That's right, sir. The space angel will be testing it in the new dart in Sector 7 tomorrow. That is good. That is very good indeed. With the death ray in the dart, I will have a weapon that can control the galaxy. But, 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 but sir, the space angel, he is not to be trifled with. The space angel is only mortal like the rest of us. I will capture the dart and the death ray. I have a plan. Evening Star, this is Starduster, approaching on Earth's space lane. Request landing instructions. Over. Starduster, this is Evening Star. Correct angle of approach, three, five degrees, and switch to automatic landing control. Roger, Evening Star. Professor Mays, the Starduster is coming aboard in two, three, sir. Right, Control. Have the Project Flashlight crew report there for installation. 
and ask Scott and Torres to meet me in the briefing room. The basic principle of this device is simple. The same megatonic pack that powers the ship powers the light ray. The beam is directed by a lens system through the conversion crystal, which amplifies its power and projects it through a grid. And that's all there is to it. You say that thing packs a wallop equal to a thousand megatons? The laboratory test was a complete success. The results were identical with the computer's predictions. That was under controlled conditions. How about the changing environments under normal operation? Its power source is independent of outside environment. Theoretically, its range is unlimited. But that's for you to check out, Scott. What about controls? Your control system is simple. You'll have plenty of time to check them out before blast-off. Blast-off is scheduled for 0900. Clear the tube for blast-off. Trapped in, gang? Go here. Aye, Skipper. Tube doors opening. Five, ladies and gentlemen. Trajectory, Three, go. AB temperature, go. Increasing power. We're entering Sector 7, Scott. Take over control, stars, and stand by for launching the dart. Aye, Skipper. Wish I could go with you. Sure hate to miss this ride. There is a ship entering the area, sir. It must be the Space Angel. Come into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. <laughs> it won't be long now, will it, sir? Be patient, Vanilla. Be patient. I'll speed run the new engine first. Then make a pass at the asteroid belt and test the light ray. Right, Skipper. I'm standing by to launch. Stay on course 7.05. That will keep you clear of the asteroid belt. I read you, Chris. Let her go, Taurus. Look at that baby go! At 50% throttle, all systems go. Increasing power to three quarters. Speed, 86,000 and increasing. Better back off, Scott, or you'll be out of the test area. Aye, Skipper. You can't take that baby into the space lanes at that speed. Roger. Firing retro rockets. Tremendous thrust that little ship has. She's slowing down. Soon the space angel will be testing the light ray gun. It is time to make our move, Vanilla. Soon that power will be mine. <laughs> Lining up for a shot now. Got one in sight. Range 300 astralis. Somebody's in trouble. 
I'm going in to investigate. Now, what in the blazes would anyone be doing out there? It's way off the space lanes. Well, it could be a prospector, but there are no records of any recent flights out there, Scott. Well, someone's out there. There goes another flare. There's something fishy about this. Watch your step, Skipper. Skipper, do you read me, Skipper? Come in, Skipper. It's no use, lass. We've lost him. There's too much interference on that frequency. I'll try to pick him up on a higher frequency. Good idea. I don't mind telling you, lass. I'm worried. This is the general area where I saw those flares. If it was a spaceship, I, I should have spotted it by now. Uh-oh. What's that up ahead? It looks like a man. my flare. Well, climb aboard. I'll get you out of here. Stardust, you're calling dark too. Come in, Scott. All I see is a bunch of gravel out there. Everything's moving. Stardust, you're calling dark too. Dark too. Scott, come in, please. There's still no answer, Taurus. Too much interference in that asteroid belt. I think we'd better cruise out that way and take a look around. Yes, I was out here prospecting. I wrecked my ship on an asteroid. Lucky I was in this area. I'll see if I can contact my ship and rendezvous for a pickup. I wouldn't do that if I were you. What's the meaning of this? I have need of your ship and your secret light ray to carry out my plans. And just what are your plans? My plan is to destroy the Space Council and install the Donovan plan for a perfect universe. You're mad. Genius is often mistaken for madness. <laughs> now you will get out of the ship. Without radio or flares, you will float for eternity in the asteroid belt. Just one of thousands of blips on a screen. Pick up anything, Chris? There are a thousand blips on that screen. I don't think we could find a freight train out there without some kind of signal. will just come into range to receive my signal. Chris, this is the area where Scott last contacted us. Taurus, I think I've got something. There's something traveling oblique to the asteroid belt. Good, lass. I'll close in on it. It's a ship, all right, but it's not the dark. It's an explorer ship, EX-47. Better contact them. Maybe they've seen Scott. EX-47. This is the Starduster. Come in, please. EX-47. This is the Starduster. Come in, please. I guess we better answer. This is EX-47. Go ahead, Starduster. EX-47. Have you seen a small ship in this area? Negative, Starduster. We haven't seen a thing. Thanks, EX-47. Starduster out. This scope is useless, Taurus. I think I'll try the audio system. Good idea, lass. If Scott is in trouble, he'd signal us on the emergency frequency. Come on, Taurus. Get in range. Taurus, I've got him. A very weak signal bearing 37 degrees. Good girl, Chris. Altering course to 37 degrees. <laughs> Come on, Taurus. Chris, we've got to warn the Space Council. 
They spotted me. Boy, what a beautiful sight. Skipper, what happened to the dog? Scott, are you all right? Get the evening star, quick. But Scott, I don't understand. How could you lose the dart? No time to explain now, Professor. Just stop the space council meeting scheduled for tomorrow. Scott, I can't do that without going through channels. You know... Take my word for it. It's a matter of life or death. Stop that meeting. All right, Scott. If you say so. Out here. Man your stations, kids. We're heading back at flank speed. I know the man, Scott. That's Donovan. He had a plan to make all people more efficient through the use of computers. He called it the Donovan Plan. The Space Council expelled him ten years ago. The Chief's calling you, Scott. Oh, oh, not in for it. Go ahead, Chief. How the devil could you let a weapon like that fall into the hands of that madman? Sorry, Chief. An old prospector floating in space just didn't seem like a potential menace. It wasn't entirely your fault, Scott. You remember Carter, my aide? Yes, Chief. He was Donovan's agent. I'm scrambling the whole space for it with orders to blast the dart on sight. It won't do any good, Chief. I'm afraid Donovan has the ultimate weapon. He can strike wherever and whenever he pleases. We are helpless. That's right, Chief. The light ray could blast them all before they could get in range to use their space cannons. We'll have to find another way. You'd better, or Donovan will control the galaxy. If only I had known then that the dark was inside that explorer ship. That's it, Taurus. Maybe we can get to Donovan and the dark through that ship. Scott, we couldn't attack that ship. If we got within range, Donovan would launch the dart and blast us. Professor Mace, where would you say that Donovan's base was? Well, he attacked you in the asteroid belt here. And in a few hours, he will blast the space council on Jupiter. I'd say his base must be on one of the moons of Jupiter. Exactly. Chris, get me the chief again. You left me, lad. I can't see... Keep on, Scott. What is it, Scott? Chief, I have a plan. It may cost us a building. But I think we can get Donovan before he strikes again. Well, go ahead. I'm game for anything. Well, Donovan will put his ship in a parking orbit around Jupiter and launch the dart from there. After the launch, and while he's blasting the empty Space Council building, we'll move in and take over the mother ship. When he returns, we'll have a surprise for him. It's going to take mighty close timing and a lot of luck. His crew could warn him. Not if we surprise them before they could get a message out. Well, it's worth a try. We've got to do something. Okay, Scott. We've got to know the second Donovan launches. Have all the Jupiter tracking stations watch for that explorer ship, EX-47. Right, Scott. And good luck. Got an unidentified flip in Sector 1. That's it, all right. EX-47. Notify the Space Angel. Starduster, this is Jupiter Tracking Station. This is the Starduster. Go ahead. We have your bogey in Sector 1. Sector 1. Tell them we're on our way. Keep all ships clear of that area. We're getting close, Taurus. Can you spot him? Don't get too close or they'll spot us. Hi. Got him. They're on orbital approach. They'll be launching the dark any time now. Good. We'll wait here till he does. Vanilla, stay in this orbit till I return. And if you're challenged, you know what to say. Skipper. Great. Stand by to take the controls. And Chris, contact the ship for a routine identification. I'll go overboard as soon as we get alongside. I've been waiting ten years for this moment. Goodbye, Space Council. <laughs> Okay, 
Chris, do your stuff. Explorer 47, this is the Starduster. You are off the space lane. Are you in trouble? Over. We are making minor repairs. We'll be underway soon. No assistance required. Roger, 47. Starduster out. returning to base. And so ends the story of The Donovan Plan. Don't miss the next exciting adventure in outer space with Scott McCloud, Space Angel. Hit! <laughs> 